star members of the media have the responsibility of voting the all NBA teams and for the NBA MVP list. So Paul George of the Indiana Pacers was left off of any of the all NBA teams costing him a lot of money and LeBron James was number four on the MVP list. Mike, I ask you, what do you think the media was thinking when they made these selections or omissions? And do you think that the media should have decision-making powers over um, something that is financially implications for the players? Yeah, as far as the all-star, well, the first team selections and everything and the MVP voting, I, we can disagree on some of the players that were chosen and everything. I think one thing with LeBron James is he's proven that maybe he's not the MVP of the regular season, but so far he certainly has been the MVP of the playoffs. As, and to answer your question, Keisha, no. The decision sh should not be up for players' compensation, should not be up to the media. It's, it's silly, and this is something that the NBA can go ahead and fix. The irony of it, though, is Paul George, look, he probably wants, everyone's been saying for a while now he wants to flee to la la land and go play for the lakers so for him even though he's losing out on some money here this could wind up being a blessing in disguise for him right he, he just punched his ticket out of indiana but he also has a chance uh, next year to make the team and then get some more money um in terms of lebron being off the list at being number four i think you know for me i think he could win every year a la michael jordan My, i mean the value that he truly possesses, just when he laces up his shoes and puts and steps on the court, is immeasurable. But I think what happened, what that worked against him, was the resting and then the Cavs' poor play during the the second stretch of the the season. And in terms of being able to make financial decisions, I mean, the media making decisions that have financial impact on the players, I think that's very bizarre. And I wonder why that was even collectively bargained for it's part of the collective bargaining agreement so management and the players agreed on this so um i think you know i think it should be more like your job performance your annual review where you and your your employer you have these goals and by the end of the season if you made the goals then you get your extra money are you eligible for this money if you don't make it then either you don't or maybe it's a sliding scale but I think, you know, they really should do something about that because that's not really cool. Definitely <laughs> For not. lack of better words.